everybody, it's Wild Fields Video here today, and I have our newest video. Uh, a few weeks back, I asked you guys what new custom breed you think I should do, and you guys voted on the Australian Shepherd Husky mix, which is what I was hoping you guys would pick. So basically, this is a husky. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what a husky looks like, but I thought I'd just show y'all anyway. And right now, what you're seeing is a picture of an Australian Shepherd, and my goodness, these dogs are cute! Okay, and finally we have the Australian Shepherd Husky Mix, and my goodness these dogs are adorable. I didn't actually know they were a breed till pretty recently, so I knew when I found out I really wanted to customize one. And clearly you guys wanted me to do one too. Alright, we're jumping right into the video now. What you see me doing here is I'm just globbing on some white paint to uh, prime my model. I do this with all my wolf customs to kind of get a blank slate. Then I went outside to look at the sunset because it was just gorgeous. Um, this is not actually where I live, but oh, I was really cool. I just had to include it in the video. My model dry overnight, and now I'm getting ready to paint again in the morning. Those are my reference photos, and then you can see the colors I used. I only used about three colors, black, white, brown, and blue for this custom, and then I mixed most of them. So that's kind of interesting with my brush. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm getting ready to start my first official layer. I'm just taking my white paint, scooping it out. Now I'm going to put it on the lid. That's what I use as my palette to mix colors. Then I took some black and dabbed it on there. The color I'm going for is a very light gray. You can see I'm just going to mix those colors around. Mix together, I guess. And uh, there's my color. Then I just got my paintbrush and started painting the first uh, layer on this model. Here you can see I accidentally let the paint get too thick, so I just dabbed over with my paper towel and then we went over with my brush to get everything out. This is the point where I started to add my second color. It's a darker gray and I went a lot lighter over the model um, to try to add some depth and dimension to it. So you can just see me going in. This is my third layer. Um, I'm mixing a light brown and I'm just going to go over near the eyes area and the bottom of the feet and a little bit in the tail. I'm basically just mixing that color in there because I noticed the Australian Shepherds have a lot of this color. Oof, that's rough, buddy. Yeah, he's definitely not looking that good right now. But I just wanted to try to stay with the process. Eh, but he was definitely looking not so great. So then I decided to layer in some white paint over his paws. And, you know, the area of the gray just kind of went over a little bit more than I wanted. After letting that layer dry, you can see that he's looking a lot better and a lot more finished. So now I'm just going to go in and start adding my black um, spots that the Australian Shepherds have. I went over in a really, really dark gray. At this point, the model was really starting to come together. The shading and the coloring, and he was beginning to finally look really good. And I got really excited because, you know, I've literally never seen a custom like this at all. After finishing the eyes, I quickly just went over and did the paws, nose, and eyes. And you're gonna see a close-up of me detailing the eyes now. So yeah, now I think it's time to go out and play. 